warm hello to all our friends. I am Dr. Gagan Priya, consultant endocrinologist at Portus Hospital and IV Hospitals, Mohali. Today, we will discuss a very novel concept and this concept is called glycemic happiness. Now, what do you really mean by glycemic happiness? I am sure many of us would not really have heard this word before. What exactly is happiness? We do understand that happiness is a personal construct. It varies from one person to the other. It varies from one moment to the other. And glycemic we basically mean is glucose control or related to glucose control. So when we say glycemic happiness, simply put, this is creating a state of happiness in the diabetes care environment. Now, in modern times, we always seem stressed. We are in stress related to our work, we are in stress related to our jobs, profession, family life. Time is a uh, constraint at all times and yes, any disease process also creates significant stress, especially if it is a chronic disease that takes a lot from an individual. So there is need for, when it comes to diabetes, need for diet management, regular physical activity, which may be time uh, uh, consuming itself and then there is need to l adhere to medications over a long period of time. It is not a two weeks course of an antibiotic that you have to get over with, but you have to commit to these changes throughout your life and there is always that looming threat of complications even despite good control of all parameters. So when we talk of health, what is health? Health really is not merely an absence of disease, otherwise let's say somebody who is a chronic disease could never be healthy. But now in diabetes we understand that people can live well with diabetes. In fact, we don't really call them as suffering from diabetes, we say living with diabetes. So health is a construct of biological, emotional, psychological and social well-being wherein a person can fulfill all his or her responsibilities and social interactions and also have a good quality of life, a happy quality of life. So applying this concept of health to diabetes care, we do understand diabetes can cause a lot of distress in individuals, but our focus is how can we make these individuals happy or live in what is called as equanimity, you know, a sense of euthymia that everything is well in the world even despite of all the problems. So when we talk of happiness, it is not just the absence of misery, but a more positive construct that a person who is living with diabetes feels satisfied or feels, you know, confident in their ability to take care of themselves and also fulfill their social personal responsibilities, can do what is required for self-care. So they can adhere to the dietary advice as well as the lifestyle modification that is required. They can take medications over a long period of time and they can also of course avoid or prevent complications from happening and if these complications do happen, they have ways out of or you know they are able to manage those complications well. So when we define glycemic happiness, it is a state of emotional, physical and mental well-being as well as psychosocial well-being, we should add that uh, social concept also, in persons living with diabetes which fosters in them an ability to live well and to a satisfactory level, as satisfactory as any person who does not have diabetes. Now how can we create diabetes happiness? When we talk of creation of diabetes happiness, let us look at the role of both the person with diabetes, his or her family and the healthcare provider. These are the three pillars of management or care for an individual with diabetes. And at the crux of course, the center of this, the strongest pillar is the individual with diabetes. I would uh, differ from saying patient with diabetes, but the individual person who is living with diabetes. So they have to be able to learn as well as they have to be empowered with education, information and that kind of confidence that they can take care of themselves, they can take these medications, they can adhere to lifestyle advice and so on. So empowerment of the patient and of course 
instilling a level of confidence in them is important. A very important side pillar would be the family and friends because fortunately in our country we live in a society where families still take care of themselves, of each other, they are there for support. So empowering the family also, educating them, ensuring that they're there for support and that support is constructive. They're not relatives who are giving, you know, uh, spreading myths and lies about diabetes care management, but they are involved in the decision making process itself. The third, of course, a key pillar is ourselves, the healthcare providers, and that includes the doctor who's caring for the individual with diabetes, but also includes the nutritionist, uh, maybe an exercise trainer or a gym trainer who's involved in uh, diabetes care itself, or even other specialities. Sometimes you might need a psychologist or a psychiatrist or maybe a person who has kidney disease needs a nephrologist or a cardiologist for somebody who has cardiac disease. So all of these form the healthcare team which also is an important pillar. But a very important fourth pillar that ensures glycemic happiness is communication between these three pillars. So these three pillars cannot stand in isolation if there is not a healthy communication between all three of them. So the healthy communication is a responsibility of the healthcare provider to initiate and then of course the family and the individual with diabetes also has to participate equally in the shared decision making process as well as in adhering to whatever advice is given in the clinic. So I think this is the, on the outlook this might look as a very utopian concept that we are looking off looking at something which may, maybe it is not achievable, but together we can. So if we are working, uh, joining hands together, we can create glycemic happiness in our individuals who we care for, in their families, as well as of course, a happy patient makes a happy doctor. So I think the carry home message is that happiness is of course our responsibility both for the individual we care for and also of course our own happiness is our responsibility. Thank you so much.